Hi everyone! So I wanted to recap the pages that I made with my DIY stash kit for March 2017. Um, first I'm going to show you the pieces from the kit that I have left over and then I'll show you all the pages that I made with the kit. So let's start off with the papers. Um, I ran out of 12 by 12 paper sheets. What I have left are these tiny bits of scrap pieces of paper that I have and just a bunch of these actually cut up, these little frames. Um, I think I'm going to save these for another page in the future, so I definitely don't want to toss this and these will probably go in my um, scrap folder for any other layouts in the future. Then when it comes to embellishments, I still have the three rolls of washi tape that I included. I figured that was going to be the case, but I definitely wanted to um, make an effort to use some of my washi tapes. In the ephemera pack that I had used, there were 45 pieces, and I am left with just... So these are the ones I did not end up using and I'm sure I'll get to use them in my next kit. I added my Dear Lizzie flags that I had made to this kit and I had a few, quite a few, and now I'm just left with three. And these were a little tough to use because it says birthday boy, birthday girl. This was, um, there was no sentiment on this one so I just ended up not using that. So I have three of these left. I also made some Maggie Holmes ribbon tags out of paper. So I have one, two, three, four, five, five of these left. And I had a bunch of these to begin with. And then I can definitely say these are the pieces left over from my February kit. Um, I also have some ribbon and this star glitter tape. Um, I am making my way through it, so I will definitely get these used up eventually. i uh, been trying to do that for March. I got rid of quite a bit already um, previously, so this will just move on to my next kit, and I'll definitely make a dent in it again at that point. So that's that. I probably will toss this box and... This box will come out again when we do April 2017. And then I had some stickers. I knew I pulled out these after the fact. These were not in my original DIY stash kit, but I did use a couple um, of these green recollection alpha stickers. So they were really good for what I needed them for. I had a whole pack of Manby chipboard stickers and these also clear stickers. The only thing I have left is this one that says we are blank and sleeping. Couldn't work those in. And then of these gold metallic stickers, I just have two more left. I have dreaming and summer and I'm definitely sure for my next kit, um, I'm just probably going to cut these out and I'll be able to use that for pages in the future. That's for embellishments. And then, of course, my thickers. I think I used a little bit of everything. Um, I know I wasn't going to use them all, but I definitely want to make an effort to use more of my thickers because I have tons of that. So, definitely useful for the future. Thickers are always handy to have. Now for my pages. Don't remember how many I made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I made sixteen layouts, I think. I think that's what I counted. So, um, I'm just going to do a quick flip through. I will link all 
the process videos below in the description. So if you want to check out any of these pages and how I made them, you'll definitely be able to find them in that section below. So I will flip through this. I tried super hard to use all the papers, um, all the 12 by 12s. I didn't want any big sheets left over like I did last kit. And I realized that using this kit, it's been super helpful. It's kind of pushed me to use up my supplies and to just make decisions with the items I have at hand. Sometimes I'll go into my stash and I'll get something that I don't have and I, and I know I need. But all these pages um, were made with the kit that I put together. I did also bring in a lot of like memorabilia that I had um, gotten when I was, you know, if I was traveling or if we went somewhere. Like for example, this is the program for my friend's wedding that I, I kept. So this was her dinner menu. I really liked hanging on to these things and incorporating them into my pages. So you would have seen a lot of that in my process videos for this month. And I'm pretty sure I'll continue to do so for my next kit as well. These are all my business cards. So there you have it. Those were all my layouts for this month. I think it was quite a success and I'm really looking forward to doing this again for April. So I hope you'll come back again and join me and subscribe of course. So if you like what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions regarding my DIY stash kit videos and series, I'll uh, just Leave them below, and I hope you have a crafty day. Bye!